In this video, I want to show you how we can start joining pieces of Lego together in Autodesk Inventor. Now, what we've been doing in previous videos is creating individual parts. Okay, what we can do with those parts in Inventor is start to assemble them together or join them together. Now, this is an example of how that could look. So, I've got all the different Lego bits we've been working on, and I've just started assembling them in Inventor, and that basically means join them together. Okay, and we can start to build things with uh, this assemble tool, we can start to see how our 3D models could be all brought together to create one final big product. Okay, so let's get started by going up to our new document like usual, choosing a metric template, and instead of choosing an individual part, what we're going to do now is we're going to head down to the next heading here and choose a standard millimeter inventor assembly. Okay, so once you've got that file selected, click create. And your screen will come up just in a blank screen like usual. What we need to do to start creating our assembly is go up to this button in the top left called Place. Okay, there's a few options underneath Place that might appear on yours, like Place from Content Center or something like that, but you just want to select the word Place. Okay, and you need to browse through your account and find where your LEGO pieces are saved. Okay, it might have come straight up, which is handy. And what you want to do is just pick those Lego pieces that you want to include in your assembly. Okay, so I might choose a 4x2 brick, I might have a 2x2, two two, a 2x1, two and a 1x1. One one. Okay, so I'm going to have four different bricks in my assembly. You can choose whatever ones you want. And we'll click on Open when you're ready. Okay, and it comes up with the four bricks ready to be placed onto our page. So when you click once, the Lego bricks are placed in your page and they stay connected to your mouse in case you want to place some more in. Okay, in this case I don't want to, so I'm just going to press escape. And what I've got now is just four Lego bricks floating in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it's my job now to connect these bricks up. Okay, so the first thing I might do is connect the yellow and the red. Okay, I'm just going to push these two out of the way. So let's focus on these two. The first thing we want to do to connect these is get their sides uh, aligned with one another. And the way we do that is use this constraint option up here in our Assemble tab in the ribbon. Okay, we need to really get to know these two tools here. We've got Mate on the left and Flush on the right. Okay, and to align the sides up of our Lego pieces, we need to use this Flush option. So with Flush selected, I'm going to click on this face that is facing towards us of the red Lego brick and then I'm going to click on the same face on the yellow Lego brick. And you'll hear a little noise and if I click apply what that has done it has lined up these two faces. And as I swing the bricks around it's going to be a bit hard to see. I'll get completely side on here. You can see these two bricks are perfectly aligned. Okay, Those two faces are perfectly aligned. Yeah, you can see it in that shot right there. Alright, so those two faces are perfectly lined up. What we want to do now is line up these two faces on the end of the Lego bricks. Okay, so with the flush tool still selected, we simply click on this end face of the red one and the end face of the yellow one. Okay, you can see those two faces are now aligned. I'll just click apply and close that box for a moment. And I can actually pick this red brick up and move it up and down. I can't move it left and right though. Okay, because I have lined up this outside face and this edge down here on the end. Okay, so those bricks are locked into that position now. If I try and move one, the other's going to move with it. Okay, so the last thing we need to do now is join these bricks together so they're actually stuck together. Okay, so before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this yellow one. And I'm going to choose this yellow brick to be my one brick that stays grounded. Okay, so there's an option to select grounded. So in your assembly, you'll usually have one piece that is always grounded, which means you can't pick it up and move it. It's basically stuck on the ground. Okay, and for this assembly, that's going to be my yellow piece. What I'm going to do now, I can still move this red one, is I'm going to basically attach it to the yellow one. And I can do it like that, and that's one way of doing it, but I can always pick it up and move it off. What we want to do is make it stuck on that yellow one. Okay, so we're going to do something called mate these two Lego bricks. So up in the constraint option here, we've got this option here called mate. Okay, and what we want to mate is the top face of this yellow brick. So click on the top face and swing around. 
and select this bottom face of the red brick. Okay, and as I zoom back out, you'll see now that they've joined together. And when I click OK or Apply and try and move that red brick, I can no longer do it. Okay, it's now um, stuck or constrained to that yellow brick. So they're joined together. Now we can do similar types of things to connect these other bricks up. Okay, so let's get this pink one onto the red one. So I'm going to go to Constrain, and I'm going to choose the Flush options first. I generally use Flush options first before mating the two bricks. Okay, what we want to do is we want to get this, ed, uh, this side of the Lego brick flush with this side of the red Lego brick. Okay, that doesn't look like they're flush, but if we swing around, they actually are. So we'll click Apply. And then we're going to get this edge here, so the outer edge of the pink one, flush with this red one, ah, side of the red one. Okay, and again, it doesn't look like they're aligned, but if you actually swing around, they are aligned very nicely. Okay, so the flush tool is working. We can click apply once that's happened. You can see now I can move the pink brick up and down, but I can't move it left and right or anything. So what I'm going to do now is get that stuck down onto this red one. Okay, so I'll grab the Constraint tool again, and with the Mates option selected, select like the top red face, and the bottom of this pink shape. And that's just snapped it down, so that it has been mated with the red one. Okay, I can no longer pick this pink one up and drag it off, it's set in position. Okay, so that just leaves us with this little blue one. So let's do the same thing again, we'll use the Constraint option. Grab the flush tool and make this face out here flush with this face here. Okay, now that's hidden it. So what I'm going to do is click apply and I'm going to close that box and just move around so I can grab this blue one and bring him back over here. Okay, make sure that you can see him when you are working on him. Let's grab the flush tool again from the constraint menu at the top and we'll get this face here constrained with this one here. Click Apply, and now you can grab the Mate tool just here. Click on the top face of the pink one, and if we swing around, grab the bottom face of the blue one. And now they are stuck together, so we'll apply that and close that constraint box off. And you can now see that we can't move any of these Lego bricks. The yellow one's grounded, and the other ones are stuck to it. But they are all joined up now, so we've made an assembly in Inventor, which means we've connected individual parts into one big final shape. Okay, so that's what we call assemblies. You're going to be doing a few of them now in the coming weeks. What I'd like you to do to finish off today's tutorial is to make an actual shape out of your Lego bricks that you've created so far. So you could build something like a little house, for example. And it should be fairly easy to do with the bricks you've got. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video.